Take a look at problem 2-9. A stone is thrown from the top of a building with initial velocity of 20 meters per second downward. The top of the building is 60 meters from the ground. How much time elapses between the instant of release and the instant of impact with the ground? Let's draw a picture. We're going to throw a stone with initial velocity of 20 meters per second down. So we'll define that direction as positive. We also know that everything in that direction then will be positive. So acceleration will be a positive 9.8 meters per second squared. And our displacement down to the ground will be a positive 60 meters. So, based on this, we wish to find time. When we have three kinematic variables. We're asked for the fourth. We should be able to do it. So we have kinematic equation number four. Displacement is equal to initial velocity times time plus one-half acceleration times time squared. So we have 60 is equal to 20 times time plus one-half times 9.8 times time squared. Or putting this in quadratic form, we have 4.9 t squared plus 20t minus 60 equals zero. We identify this as a quadratic equation. We have a, we have b, and we have c as our constants here, our coefficients. So, solution to this type of equation would be t is equal to a negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So in this case, this would be a negative 20 plus or minus 20 squared minus 4 times a times c, negative 60, square root over 2 times a, 4.9. So it's a negative 20 plus or minus. Now in the uh, radical, we have 20 squared, 400 minus minus, so that's going to be a plus. So 400 plus 4 times 4.9 times 60 is 1,576. Take the square root, that is 39.7 over 9.8. So we have two answers. Negative 20 minus 39.7 and negative 20 plus 39.7. If we go with the plus 39.7, we get an answer of 2.01 seconds. And if we go with the minus 39.7, we get a negative 6.09 seconds. We're working on it. We're trying to go back in time, but as of yet, we cannot do that. So we choose the positive answer. What does this negative answer mean? Well, if we were to somehow pass our ball all the way back to where it started at ground level, at which point it would have had the same displacement that we want in this problem, in other words, it would have been at ground level, that would have been 6.09 seconds in the past. So if it had been launched from ground level, had gone up to the apex, come back down, pass our point at 20 meters per second, that would have been the time it would have taken to get there. So it does mean something, it's just that it's negative and we're not going to choose it here. So our time to the ground is indeed 2.01 seconds.